well, pretty good, right? You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Hey gang, what's going on? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Yan. I hope you're doing well, mate. I really do hope that. Chelsea won, Liverpool won. Stamford Bridge, Maurizio Pochettino's first game in charge of Chelsea Football Club. And I'd like to say we were the better team, maybe. Look, listen, context is required here. This was a ruddy good game for a multitude of reasons, imperfections in both sides. Um, of course, big talking points is Pochettino coming out with a free for free formation and did change towards the end um and poch Klopp came out swinging with a very strong formation well excuse me lineup it's always the same formation we'll talk about it here thank you for joining me if you think Enzo Fernandez is an absolute beast, please do drop a like on this video and of course as always you're welcome to subscribe we are closing in on 175,000 or we're already done it just subscribe but that would be helpful all right then, so Pochettino's first game, loads of debutants. We're still early doors in the Poch era, coming up against the Jurgen Klopp Liverpool, who are well established, know what they're doing with their 4 3 3 formation. They have won every, like the last, like, so, so and so many games of the opening day. They keep winning. Salah scores on the opening day every season for Liverpool. Not today, though, hashtag spoiler. Though he did get an assist and hit the woodwork. One all on the night. Goals from uh, Luis Diaz. And of course, debutante Axel de Sassi. That was actually a surprise inclusion in the game. So we're going to take over to who scored graphics for just in sight of what went on in this game. Let's have a look. Here we go. Here we ruddy go. So, Kepa's gone to Real Madrid, by the way. <laughs> should, we, should, we, should we address that? Kepa's gone to Real Madrid. So, yeah, of course, we've spoken about it in recent Chelsea news videos, and here we are again confirming it. He's not gone to Bayern. He's not stayed at Chelsea. He's gone to Real Madrid. We had a youngster on the bench. I forget which one. But, um, yeah, so, you know, Rob Sanchez is in the building. And uh, he was okay. We'll talk about player performances as we go. But Kev has gone. We'll buy us, you know, we will buy a, uh, a goalkeeper. We will hopefully buy Moises Caicedo. Because no disrespect to Gallagher. I think he was fine in this game. I think he's always fine when he plays. And I'd be very happy if he stays. Understand if he's sold. But he's not a CDM. He's not a number six or a double six. And one thing, another spoiler before I do my player performances or reviews on the player performances, Moises Caicedo was undoubtedly watching this game, of course, for both teams have been fighting for him. And he would have watched that Enzo Fernandez performance and been like, yes, please, let that guy be my partner. He won man of the match on the Sky Sports coverage. He was absolutely incredible. Right, so here we are for Jurgen Klopp's 4 3 3. He had Van Dijk and Kanate, um, massive, big players, flanked, of course, by the first choice fullbacks, Alexander Arnold and Robertson. Uh, McAllister in the midfield, though he's outshone by the other Argentine midfielder and our team. Uh, Sol Bzalazai, the new signing. Cody Gakpo, also in the midfield, which is strange because he's played striker for Liverpool. And in the front three of Diaz, Jota and Salah, the fact that they've got, to be honest, even apart from McAllister, that's a really like an offensive front five. Of course, we saw substitute appearances from Nunez, Jones, Harvey Elliott, that little knobber, actually played rather well and had a big effect on the game. And Delk. Now, Chelsea, uh, massive curveball here from Maurizio Pochettino playing a free-back system. Hashtag mind games from our coach because we've been playing 4-2-3-1 all throughout preseason. I still think that's his preferenced uh, philosophy, style, uh, uh, you know, tactics, and I think we'll see that moving forwards. He probably fought first game, Stamford Bridge, Liverpool, hard opponent. We don't have Caicedo to play that role. Let's play a back three. We've got a really appropriate back three of Colwell, Silva and De Sassi. Uh, and of course, we are protecting a debutante goalkeeper that they probably wouldn't have played in this game if Kepa was around. Or well, that we certainly wouldn't have played this game when Kepa is around. In terms of statistics, you can see here, pretty similar for shots. They had three more. We had the dominant, uh, we had over 65% possession. We had a much better pass success rate, which is good. We won more 
aerials, which is good. Um, the fact how they had more tackles shows that we had the ball more. Of course, with the back three of Desassi and Colwell flanking the evergreen Thiago Silva, who was pretty magnificent on the day, in front of Rob Sanchez, our new Spanish goalkeeper, Chilean James played wing back, which saw the double six starting partnership of Gallagher and Fernandez that, that I actually predicted in my On the Couch video, which I did a while ago. I uh, will continue to do content like that uh, for you guys, so please do stay tuned. Of course, it's kind of like a box, midfi box midfield here with Sterling and Chakomeka behind Jackson. I think Jackson was pretty decent. Um, he obviously had a bit of a baptism of fire. We're not in preseason anymore. But Jackson was doing centre-forward things. Now, I feel like when Chelsea have been robbed, well, us Chelsea fans have been robbed with a proper striker for so long, even if he doesn't score or assist, just to see him make those runs, be in the appropriate place at the appropriate right time, it feels like a blessing, you know? And I'm so pleased to see that from Nico Jackson. And yeah, he looks like he's fine. He can start. We need to set a little bit more, have some more, you know, learn from this game against a decent opposition. Yes, they finished fifth last season, Liverpool, but they ended the season in scintillating form. Um, so this is, you know, a really, really tough test. And ultimately, all things considered, not a bad point. And, you know, the f it was really keenly contested. The first half, of course, we saw the, we saw the goals. We saw, we saw the goals. We saw Chuck Cormeca booked in the fourth minute. Anthony Taylor, everyone had PTSD, thought we might have sent him off. In the 18th minute, of course, uh, Luis Diaz scores a goal. Great, a great ball from Mo Salah. And kind of like worrying everyone at this point and De Sassi looks a little bit worrying and wobbly early doors Jota and Enzo Fernandez touch heads and get a yellow card by the way the the rules are I actually like the new rules from the refs like there's no time wasting you can't go down to feign injury because then you have to stay off for 30 seconds if you say to the ref you ask for a booking you, that's immediately you get booked and what was testament to me loving that was was it Chilwell? I can't remember who it was, but someone fouled Mac Allister at the end, and it was just a clear foul. They took him down, and then he gets booked, which is just a great feeling. It's a great feeling. So I kind of, so far, I endorse the new rules. Of course, Ben Chilwell, in my fantasy football team, gets an assist for Axel de Zassi, which, by the way, was an absolute chef's kiss of a finish, especially for a centre-back. And Ben Chilwell, um, we have also two goals um, ruled offside closely. I think it's Salah and Ben Chilwell in the first half. So it was a really keenly even contested first half. And considering Chelsea's, you know, new position, um, not bad, really. Uh, really, really good from uh, Ben Chilwell. Axel de Sassi as well. It's good. Obviously, Levi's quite a tall guy. We don't have this, quite the status or the physical status of Canate and Van Dijk, which are just like giants back there. But for us, it's nice to have some big boys, you know, flanking, flanking, um... Thiago Silva. Of course, at some point we will see Benoit Badia Shield return to the back lineup, and he's a he's a big guy as well. So him and Axel uh, Disassi or both of Monaco. It's just good having big, tall centre backs there to protect you again. You feel sort of safer, you know, like ah, better. I feel better, you know. And Colwell, he's not too small as well. You know, it could be like Kukurea playing left centre back, or even when it was Azpilicueta, you just didn't feel the safety as you do with Kukurea and Azpi flanking Silva. You feel a lot less safe than Colwell and Disassi in terms of physical stature. So of course, um, let's let's go back to this. We we uh, see you know we go one one. We're in the ascendancy in the 66th minute. Klopp makes a couple of changes. He brings on Curtis Jones and Darwin Nunez and makes more in the 77th. And it kind of makes Liverpool better. But for a long time in that sec uh, first half, second half, end of first half, early second half, we looked like the better team. Uh, and I thought we were good for the win. And I feel pretty good about how we played. So let's talk about player performances then, I guess. Uh, Sanchez in goal, decent. He made a really good claim that I was impressed with, but maybe that's just Kepa Aretha Balaga PTSD. Um, so Sanchez looks like he could be fine. Silva, I think, was very, very good. He made a really great slide tackle, which is good to see from a guy pushing 40, but also he was, you know, telling Disassi and Ugochukwu came on, obviously speaking French to these guys, telling them where to go. Carl Will, very, very good. Um, Disassi got the goal, grew into the game massively. Fullbacks or wingbacks, should I say? Chilwell, 
great, got an assist. He very nearly got a goal with that minor offside. We've heard before from Chilwell himself explaining the tactics, how he will be one of the furthest forward most of the time, so therefore he will be go. He was he'll be scoring goals. If you do not have this guy in your fantasy football team, then you're a silly sausage. Especially if you're a Chelsea fan, man, because you got to have that bit of blue bias. Uh, Reece James was decent. Uh, I think he obviously came off. I don't know if he was injured when he came off, or this is part of the the Reece James protection plan because you have such a good deputy in Malo Gusto. Don't risk your captain, Captain Reece James. So, full wing back's very good. Gallagher, good, combines well. He's not a CDM. He's doing his best. He presses well. He made a few good tackles. He gave the ball to Fernandez, which was going to be his job. Get the ball, give it to Fernandez. Lovely stuff. And he did it well, although he's not that player. And that's not his fault. He gets played all over the gaff, doesn't he? Enzo Fernandez, man of the match. I think he's incredible. This, he's just shown in the biggest stage. He's not phased. You pay 105 million pounds for Enzo Fernandez. This is why I think he was just superb. Um, yeah, his combinations, his touch, the way he like received ball, made a little bit of space to release it. Um, seeing his sort of awareness of the players around him, just incredible. Uh, just for me, sensational. So I'll be very keen to learn what you guys thought of Enzo Fernandez's performance. Carney Chukwemeka, see who scores, give him like a six here. I think it's fine. Um, he had a couple of occasions where he received the ball in the hole, which is kind of like, you know, here, whatever, and um, turned, but, you know, in, when in Kunku's there, he'll be playing that position. Uh, Nico Jackson, like I said, it wasn't his, he didn't shine like he did when he could express himself more in preseason. This, of course, isn't preseason, but he just does striker things, and he works hard, and he doesn't look gassed, and he's got... Uh, he doesn't have an ego. He's got a bit of a swagger, which is great, but he doesn't have an ego like, you know, a certain Belgium striker that's hanging out, lingering at Cobham at the moment. God, what's going to happen with Lukaku? But let's not think about that. Positive. Positive. I know we're at home, but to, to start off the season is a good point. Now, Sterling was fine. Especially in the first half. I think he was, say it quietly, I think he was pretty good. Yeah, I think he was fine, Sterling. He did some good stuff. The commentary team of Sky Sports was saying, like, yeah, you know, Sterling's causing problems. The combinations of Reese James down the right hand flank, you know? In terms of uh, substitutions, we only made... Yeah, we made four substitutions. Um, okay, so Gusto came on, just to, I think, to protect James. Hopefully, it's not an injury. Ugo Chukwu came on, didn't have time to really affect much. Matson came on, didn't look as good as we've seen him. But again, it's preseason. Might be hard to just throw him on in a game like this, but he does have the combinational ability because also Mudrick came on, who had bright moments. He had a really impressive combinational moment with Ian Matson, um, uh, Mikhailo Mudrick, and that looked good. So time will, you know, hopefully develop and flourish that relationship. And um, yeah, that's my player analysis. Look, guys, it's the first game. It's a point. We could have won, we could have lost, but it's Liverpool, it's tough. Um, of course, we're coming from 12th position, and that, you know, a 12th position team drawing with Liverpool at home is very good. I'm obviously jesting here. The main the main takeaway is how uh, undercooked we are and underdeveloped. And I don't mean by fitness, we look great fitness. We look great for fitness in preseason. I mean, just developed coaching, chemistry. We don't even know our, you know, is... What's our fully fit starting lineup? Certainly got Nkunku and hopefully Touchwood, Moises Caicedo. And, uh, you know, people are still talking about Chelsea going in for a striker. I don't know how this all fits with financial fair play, but we will, of course, cover that in Chelsea News videos. So if you want to be a part of that, strap yourselves in, subscribe, and please do consider liking the video. I look forward to reading your comments on this video and i will start up all at one i'm going to start up a new series on the channel and continue chelsea news video so thank you for joining me and i look forward to seeing you guys back here very soon